Sick. There's like four to go in Junior's leading. He's had the car to beat all day long, and despite the fact he killed his momentum to let the 88 by, he's hanging right there. I'm gonna say, oh if he dropped to second oh. to clean that off his grill, that's a gutsy freaking oh. move. Guts. With four or five laps oh. to go. You talk about gutsy here. Remember a few years ago when he won, he had busted his ankle testing, came up here, raced anyway, and got the checkered flag. He's got to get a little bit closer in order to blow that thing off. Get those temperatures back there. I'm so, so nervous. So nervous. Junior stressed him right there. Junior stressed him. Clean air means so much. Mm -hmm. Track position big in Pocono. And like you mentioned, there's a little bit of track charm. Urban's grill, but not, not quite as much as what Brad's got. So nervous. I could... Down the front straight away they come. Three laps remaining. Come Look on. at Junior trying to get away and trying not to let him get close enough or trying not to have the air flow over his car vehicle. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Drove them down. Yeah. This is a game right here. And you gotta get with, I mean, you really gotta get close on these things in order for, for it to work. I mean, almost right up on the bumper. And, then, and remember, Let's go back. What did the 14 do early? Slow down to let who get stuff off their grill. Yes, you. Hey, guys, it's a game, okay? You're looking at two drivers that won earlier in the year, mm -hmm. and they know in the next two laps, whichever one goes to victory lane, will be locked into the chase with Jimmy Johnson, Joey Logano, and Kevin Harvin. And, Larry, I guess you could say it's Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s turn to win at Pocono. Two laps left. Jeff Gordon won, driving for Rick Henry. One year ago in this race, Jimmy Johnson. In August, it was Casey Kane. Junior going to try and become the fourth different Hendrick driver to win in consecutive races at Pocono. He's a lap and a half away. You, you saw right there as he got to the corner and the two car of Brad Kazlowski drives in and flat, that paper flat, just a little bit, but not enough to let him get up under it and pull it off. Position Jeff Gordon around Martin Truex Jr. It's for eighth. Leaders in turn three. Come on. Man, that two car is good in the corners, but that oh, 88 is pretty good on the front. You got this one more. Go this one more. Away from his second win of the season. strategy that these two guys have used to get to this point of the race, to get to that last last pit stop, to put He's themselves in position, then to have trash on their grills, and to fight to try to overcome that. And this has been an exciting race. Oh Dale Hart Jr. has been a runner-up twice here at Pocono. Top five in both races a year ago. And then two the top game. <laughs> Driving it in. It does well. Off of turn three for the final time. You got it, bud. He won the season opener at Daytona. Yeah! We got the win! Yes! Finally, he wins at Pocono. Yes! Boom! Self in position uh, just didn't work out. I wonder. If, yeah, that's what I, I wonder if he tried to use the yeah. ten so to get the trash up. He and then he lost his momentum there. Yes. And look at the run that the eighty eight had. Yeah. So. Yeah, he just let himself get too close to the ten car. But you, but you had to. He had to, he had to try See, Miss is even he celebrating. Junior Nation, baby! I love being a part of Junior Nation. Here comes the burnout. I, 
I think just got to make him run and swipe at it, and he got a 50-50 shot if it's going to come yeah. yeah, I think he felt like when he'd run up on it and swipe to the left, yeah. that there would be enough airflow around her car to knock it off, and it just wasn't. But uh, Junior, obviously, was just in the right place and was able to, uh, to carry that momentum up off turn one. Impressive. We got it. I love this. Ticket sales go up at Michigan because he won there a couple of years ago. Talking about Dale or Junior. And as Larry pointed out, he becomes the fourth driver with multiple victories. Best part of my weekend right now. Into the chase in 2014. How about this? It's the first time he's had multiple wins in a season since 2004. And ten years ago, he won a career-best six times.